Y Lou Messina Promotions presenta nuestro siguiente encuentro pactado a cuatro rounds en la división de peso ligero. Sus tres jueces, Benjamín Rendón, Sergio Lechuga y Jesús González. Y el tercero en la superficie, your third man to watch the actions, Juan Morales Lee. Introducing to you first, the fighters standing in the blue corner wearing black trunks with silver and white trim. Official weight, 135 pounds. Presentando al, al peleador en la esquina azul, vistiendo calzoncillo negro con blanco y plata, con un peso de 61 kilos, 500 gramos. Making tonight his pro debut, haciendo su debut profesional from Glendale, California, USA. Héctor, la bomba. With white trim, official weight the same, 135 pounds. Y su oponente en la esquina roja, vistiendo calzoncillo rojo con blanco, con un peso de 61 kilos 500 gramos. Holding six professional bouts, con seis combates profesionales de Tijuana, Baja California. Juan de Hello everybody, Marcos Villegas here and welcome to Best in Boxing being joined with lightweight contender and my broadcast partner, Mr. Diego Magdaleno, where this series we're going to see young prospects on their journey to become the best in boxing. Now we're gonna go ahead and see the pro debut of Hector Lopez taking on Juan Delgado here in Mexico. Hector Lopez, of course, fighting at 135 pounds, coming by way of Glendale, California, and Juan Delgado from Tijuana, Mexico. As we start round number one, and Diego, this is the pro debut of Hector Lopez. Tell me from your experience, what is he feeling in there and what does he want to show in there? Well, from the beginning, I would like to see, um, you know, uh, it's the first round. You got to start off with the jab. You know, the first round is where you fill out your opponent. And uh, what you want to do is use the jab and create that distance and space between the, uh, the fighter. Well, we're seeing a, a little clinch work here uh, from both fighters. Is it a scary thing having a pro debut as a pro? Like, what are you really thinking in there? Well, unless you have an amateur background um, and this is your debut, it is a little scary in there, uh, you know. Um, not having the, uh, the headgear like you would in the amateurs and uh, smaller gloves is uh, something to think about when you're in there. Now, uh, knockdown happening right over here. Hector Lopez already displaying his power against Juan Delgado. Lopez is actually the son of Mexican silver medalist, boxer and professional fighter, Hector Lopez. So he's shown already a, a little bit of skill. He's been around the uh, business for a while as he's backing up Delgado now. and. Uh, Delgado going down again. Uh, I believe that that might have been from a, a hook. What'd you see there, Diego? I saw, yeah, it was a short right hook. You know, he was c coming in, throwing a, a series of punches, and you know, he connected with one good one. I guess we're giving a count. Delgado looking like he's okay. His body language is showing that he is. As uh, Lopez now is stalking it and really leading with a, a hook right over there. Oh, we'll, we'll see if. Uh, Lopez can go ahead and put Delgado out. I know these uh, Mexican fighters, especially from Tijuana, they're, they're really tough guys. Yeah, you can't count any fighter out. You know, they're in there and they're throwing punches, and uh, it's a shot that you don't see that uh, that can't connect. As Lopez here throwing, and I believe uh, a mouthpiece just flew out of the mouth of Delgado, the referee, going ahead and going to his corner, telling Lopez to go to the neutral corner, washing out that mouthpiece. From what we've seen of Lopez, uh, do you like what you're seeing from him? I, I feel that he needs to use his jab a lot more. Those straight shots is what's going to get the job done. Um, you can see that Delgado is a little fatigued coming into this fight now. And um, maybe starting off with, uh, with the jab and you know finishing up to the body. Now I like this movement that I'm seeing from Lopez right now, who's in the black with silver trim. Hands a little low, though, but he's throwing a 
good amount of jabs as two exchanging here, and he lands a straight right right now as he backs up Delgado, who of course is in the red trunks. Delgado moving a lot though, right? He I is. I feel like he's expending a little bit too much energy. I, I, I see that he's uh, in a dangerous spot right now, but then again, that's a, that's a, um, you know, a, a dangerous uh, uh, a time for a fighter. When they're in, they're put into that that corner like like he is there, they can come out with those Hail Marys and land something. So you got to stay cautious all the as time. As he goes down again, Delgado. Now that was a, I believe a body punch as the referee gives him the count right now. Let's see if uh, Delgado will be able to make it to the end of this round right here. Ref calling time again. Mouthpiece coming out. We could see the referee maybe giving Delgado a warning. Uh, and maybe even a point deduction if the mouthpiece fall, flies out again. That's the tactic used to uh, buy a little bit of time. Yeah, clearly Del Delgado stunned uh, by those punches as we come to the end of round number one. People just don't know what we go through. All the time away from family. Hours of road work. Fighting through the pain of training. We don't complain. You know, people just don't understand how tough this life is. People ask me then, why do it? Simple. I want to be the best in boxing. Follow Best in Boxing at Global Sports Stream on youtube.com forward slash gsstream. Welcome back, everybody, as we see highlights now of the first round between Hector Lopez and Juan Delgado, which Lopez scored two knockdowns. Diego, from the highlights that we're seeing, do you like what you see so far in, in Hector Lopez and, and what he's doing in there with Delgado? Well, so far, he's getting the job done. He's coming after his opponent um, with uh, you know, a storming the punches, and he's, he's, he's doing what he has to do. Round number two, the pro debut of Hector Lopez, who's pretty much having his way against Juan Delgado, a tough Juan Delgado. He's in there to fight. He, he's going there to earn his money, but he, he might be a, a little bit over his head uh, against someone like Hector Lopez, who's now commanding himself uh, towards Delgado. Though you gotta give it to him. Uh, Delgado, you know, he's trying. Right, right, he is coming. He's, he, he's a game fighter. Um, he, he's, he, he's out here swinging. Um, you see those shots that he's throwing, those overhand rights, those are the ones you have to be careful about. Lopez in the black exchanging now, and not sure if that was a slip or a punch, but it, it has Delgado now moving on his back foot. Something clearly bothered him right there. Hector smells blood, and he, you know he's going after that that the KO, so let's see if he can pull that off. So two exchanging now in the middle. Lopez now, another knockdown scoring with that three punch combination. Let's see if uh, Delgado will be able to survive the count. At this point, Diego, you got to think that Hector is smelling blood. He's looking to finish the fight. Yeah, I see. This is where you um, you, you calm down and you really uh, stick those shots in there. You sit down on your on your punches and you, you let him go. Lopez now moving forward with his jab as the two clinch up. Delgado being smart. If Lopez is going to get close, he's going to have to go ahead and hold him because he's been hurt multiple times now. Yes, he keeps him at, at range. He can land those uh, solid shots because uh, uh, I see Delgado, he's not doing too much movement. He's going to be there in front of him to get hit. Lopez now with a nice one-two. Follows it up with another combination, but Delgado landing a, a hook right there. He needs to be careful with, with keeping that left hand down. He could get caught with a big punch. As we come now to the final 40 seconds of round number two, Hector Lopez from Glendale, California, pretty much having his way in his pro debut against Juan Delgado. And really the skills showing through. You could tell that clearly there's a level of disparity as the mouthpiece now comes flying out of Delgado's mouth. I believe that's the third time. Would not be surprised if the referee goes ahead and deducts a point from Juan Delgado at, at this time. That's a good thing to see Lopez looking at his Yeah, and there game. it is. Do you agree with that, Diego? 
Um, I feel that the fighter can go, you know, could have kept going on. He's uh, he is a little fatigued, but um, let's uh, let's see what uh, what happens here at the end of this round. Always a tricky thing when it's from a punch. And it's not an intentional thing, but the referee did warn him. As we come now to the close of round number two, both fighters clinching up, but clearly Hector Lopez in the lead, landing combinations as Delgado now realizing that he might be in a hole here after suffering knockdowns, as we're seeing the highlights now. Diego, walk me through him. He's got a rain series of punches that he's coming after him. He knows he has him hurt, and he's looking for that one shot to take him down. What I'd like to see is for him to just kind of settle back a little bit and look for that shot, plant that one good shot. You know, Delgado at this point has to know with knockdowns happening to him already in the first and the second round, and then with the mouthpiece coming out, he, he needs to come out and really try something to get out of this hole that he's in. Hector Lopez is in the lead clearly two rounds. And uh, this is where I think uh, that jab is going to find his range where he can, you know, he has a big, a, a nice uh, right hand and he can, you know, finish his fight. Now Lope is changing his levels a little bit. He's popping that jab over uh, to the face of Delgado as he has Delgado on the back foot now. As he comes forward, stalking his opponent, digging to the body. Nice for a three-punch combination of the body as he's not letting... Delgado out of the corner. And down he goes again. This could be it, Diego. And it's all over. That's it. Hector Lopez finishes Juan Delgado in his pro debut via TKO in round number three. Diego, do you like what you see from Hector? Well, he has talent. The kid has talent. He's in there and he's... uh. You know, it's his debut, so we can't be too hard on him. But yeah, uh, boxing's a never-ending sport with uh, learning. So every every round you go, you're learning something new. As we're seeing here, Lopez stalking his opponent, which caused the knockdown ultimately. From what we're seeing here, I think it was a punch right to the the liver. Was it? It was a liver shot and ended it right on the on the top of the head there. And we're seeing right here the other knockdown. Where, that was caused by a three-punch combination, and down he goes again. And really, you got to agree with the referee. It seemed that he could have probably continued, but being in the hole that he was, already losing the point, getting knocked down multiple times, he might have been doing him a favor, might have uh, given him a, a little bit more time in his uh, career. Right, and that's what the ref's there for, to protect the, the fighter. So he did. It, was, it wasn't a bad call. He's here. Lopez digging to the body. Has Delgado hurt? Delgado can't take anymore. Let's see the moment here where Delgado realizes, you know what, that's it. Gonna go home. As we go ahead and send it over to our ring announcer. Glendale, California, Hector La Bomba Lopez. It is now official and in the books. Hector Lopez recording his first professional win here at Best in Boxing, going to 1-0 and stopping his opponent via TKO in round number three.